Welcome back to our new Evil GT garage, the garage where things attempt to be fixed by two unprofessionals. So for our new KN, you guys had loads of suggestions as to what we should do with it, but one thing is for sure, look at the state of that suspension, that needs sorting. Well, do you know how to fix it? No, I've no idea, but I've watched a few YouTube videos and there's two or three things it could be, so let's have a look. So we've had this car for a few weeks now and one thing we've definitely not done yet is a car vertical report so let's have a look see what it says well straight away mileage great news looks like there's no issues and when you look at the curve on the graph it looks mint that bang on well happy with that thefts not recorded as stolen well happy with that as well brilliant however one thing i didn't know which would explain why this car was so cheap is that it's a category n write-off it's been in an accident but the question is would we have still bought this car if we would have known it was a write-off well, I think so, yeah. And it all makes sense now because after we bought this car, we were shown this video with the front end damage, but it was repaired back to like a brand new condition. So in a car vertical report, there is loads of information and right down at the very bottom as well, you get things to look out for like common issues, things like the brakes, things like the head gasket is a common failure apparently, but also the smell and we know all about that in this car. Well, the best news we've had is we paid £2,000 for this car, but Car Vertical's valuation, I mean, we're over £4,400 up, at least. But obviously that valuation is just a guide. So if you want to get your own Car Vertical report before you go and buy a used car, make sure you check out the link in the description and use code EVILGT to save yourself from buying a lemon. How heavy do you reckon the KN is? I don't know, have you Googled it? No, it can't be more than 3.2 because the lift has done it. Thank yeah. you very much to yeah. Northwest Garage Equipment for yeah. fitting this lift. There you go, there's the number, and there's that. He keeps saying he's fitted this lift for nothing. Oh yeah, yeah, he's, let, he's lent us the lift for nothing and fitted it for nothing, yeah, he keeps reminding us on. Can at least just one person just ring Pimmy and say, oh, I've seen your video on Evil GT. Can you come round and service me lifts or something like that, please? <laughs> and then it'll stop him moaning at him all the time. I'm assuming that that was to the old uh, valves because they're air powered, aren't they? The valves to the, to the factory exhaust. So I'm guessing that that is there from I the old. Your word for it. Yeah. We've never welded before in our lives, have we? But I still reckon it'd look better than that. <laughs> That is definitely, remember them things you used to have in school? You know, when you had the straws with the wet tissue? And you used to find <laughs> it through just, Yeah, that <laughs> looks like that with a weld. Yeah, it does. I don't know who's done it, and apologise, you know, in advance if I'm upsetting you, but that's not very good. Well, hopefully the wood that we've held the car up with is better than that exhaust, because I ain't going under that, mate. Are you not? Why yeah. not? What's up here? I don't want to die. That bit's cracked, isn't it? That corner there. Yeah. Is that a safe thing to do? I don't know, but that was the only place that I could find. Oh, it looks like that's the jacking point there, maybe. But you can't really get to it, so I just jacked it up on the rear subframe. You guys will know whether that's right or not. <laughs> and, and we're complaining about this this yeah. welding. For an old car? It's clean, isn't it? That's pretty clean. This isn't here. But this is where the suspension problem is. This bit, can you fix that? Go on. Well, I don't, I don't. I could fix it, I think, but I don't want to stand underneath it. So um, I don't no. know, we'll give that a miss maybe. Or when I was looking on YouTube, it looked like it could be a few things. There's like a controller next to the air tank in the boot. And then there's a level sensor, I think, somewhere. I'm really impressed how clean this car is. Coming up to 20 years old, isn't it? They say you get what you pay for. So this VW, Porsche, you know, it's all the same stuff, isn't it? Yeah. It's really good underneath. It's weathered well. I can't believe that. That, look, that looks good to me. Yeah, Brembo calipers. Not got any oil leakage by the looks of it. This is really clean. That's that a, looks that's new. new. Yeah. There's a tiny lip on the inner edge, but the brakes look okay. Is that a cat? It looks like a cat to me. I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Sounds okay, but it's not like really loud, is it? Well, it's loud enough. Probably got a the resonator delete. Uh, Northwest garage equipment, by the way. <laughs> How much are they? Well, looking on here, they're about 63 quid. Um, I don't know whether TPS also might look after us on through TPS. I don't know if TPS would be able to get us one a bit cheaper, because I assume these are going to be the same as what's on like a Tuareg or something, I don't know. That's fixed a lot of stuff up to now, so we'll spray that on. Potentially could save us £130. I'm pretty sure this isn't going to fix it, but this is only one of the potential problems that could be causing the suspension at the back to not go down, but it's worth just having a little go, isn't it? So I'm just going to give it a bit of a, you know, in the hinge bit, just in case it's not moving that freely and that's what's throwing up some... Can you give it some more just to be on the safe side? I, I, may, have, I may have broken it there. Well, not that much. <laughs> yeah, I'm completely guessing here, but we haven't got a level sensor to, to go at at the moment. We haven't got a new one, so until we get one, 
Well, it's worth a shot. You lot will be saying, why don't you just get a diagnostics tool like most people, but even if we got one, whatever it said on it, we still wouldn't know what was wrong with it anyway, so. You love doing this, don't you? I do, you? right. What have we got in here? Let's have a look. Oh, there's some CDs <laughs> here, mate. Awesome mix. Oh. Is that awesome GTI's mix? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yes! What have we got? You won't be throwing this one. Oh, yes, <laughs> I'm keeping that one. <laughs> What's going right in the pockets, that? <laughs> there you go. Oh, yes. Oh, what's on that, do you reckon? And a bit more 80s. We do need to find out what's on the awesome mix. Have it's... you got a CD player? Uh, no. Right, that's got to be the dumbest comment ever. Because there's a CD player in the car. Yeah. I'm giving you these back on loan only. <laughs> They're going into my collection at home. For those who don't know, Lee's banging to his 80s music. Loves it, don't you, mate? Yeah, I was born in the 80s. <laughs> no, you weren't. Just like you. Nice try. So we're going to have copyright on the music first and foremost. So yeah. we're only going to be able to play about two seconds. I wonder what the stereo system's like in a 2005 Porsche Cayenne. Is it Cayenne or Cayenne? What the heck? I wondered where that was coming from, it's my phone. I've got it to work. And it knows what it is. Right, we don't need to listen to that. Town Carl Malice. Turn that off. Cheers! Carl's playlist. We're loading that. You're a Have you seen them TikTok videos? It goes like this, then it goes. You're a <laughs> George Ezra. Bad Moon Rising. Tune. Back to the 80s. What's on the black one? That's madness. Oh yeah, bit of ACDC. We've worked out that the guy's taste that had this is pretty, pretty diverse, right? He likes Bad Moon Rising. It's on two CDs. Well, I said it was under there. Or I read or watched that the controller was underneath the tank which obviously isn't the case. They were saying that the, these never really fail because there's no moving parts, it's literally just an air tank. But this is the controller here, the air suspension controller. So I wondered whether, you know, we used to do it all the time when I was fixing prints and photocopies, you used to just unplug stuff and then plug it back in. Sometimes when you're blowing it and stuff and yeah, yeah, yeah. it with a hammer. What, like an old Nintendo cartridge <laughs> game? That looks like a bit of a, you know, like a massive Nintendo yeah. cartridge. For the kids who watch this uh, YouTube channel, you probably have no idea what we're talking about, but back in the day when you had a Nintendo, they used to look a bit like that and you used to stick it in the top. That was a Sega Mega Drive, actually, wasn't it? Yeah, it's all the same stuff. Mm. So, yeah, we'll just do that and then it might work. Who knows? <laughs> How much? Well, this seems to vary, but there's a few different ones. Like, that looks the same. Is that the same? That looks the same. 160 quid, but it says it's for the 957, which is the facelift one of these. Then there's that, which looks the same, and that's saying it's 1100 quid. Nope, let's get a used one. It's, it's a used car, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not absolutely. like a brand new, is it? No, let's hope the uh, Nintendo blow has made it work. So if you did watch the first video on this, when we did the boot, when we tried to fix it, well we did fix it in the end, all it needed was a little bit of oil in the mechanism. We did actually break all this, the steel bit, the, the aluminium bit. So, Uncle Benji, found one on eBay, how much? I think it was either 15 or 20 quid. I mean it's obviously used, so there's a bit of a dint in it, but it's got the foam bit and it's got the clips in it that we need. So hopefully this just slots straight in. Back like a brand new condition. There we go. Apart from that little bit there. We've got to replace this as well because we booked it in the first video. How much is that? Uh, this is about 15 quid as well. So all in, I think it cost us about 30 pounds to sort that out and that out. Yeah, it's working. Ah, uh, it's fixed. Nice one. Your blowing didn't work, mate. And everyone's told me you're great at blowing. <laughs> We're going to take it to awesome, plug it in, and something about a reset on the suspension. Something about a calibration, yeah. We'll see. It's definitely going to look amazing when that back end's down. 100%. With some better wheels. Yeah, definitely needs better wheels. Is it fixed? No, Tabby's broke it further, I think, um, with his five grand machine there. So I don't know what's happened, but apparently I'm joking by the way, he's not. He's walking off because he's thinking, I'm not touching it now. 
but what's happened is he's tried to put it into calibration mode and it won't so done a little bit of digging with the suspension tabby seems to think it's some sort of like little control unit not the not the ecu control unit thing that's in the boot but there's like one where loads of pipes come from it next to the compressor it's looking likely it's going to be that but i've had a little look from porsche 600 quid and then i found the same part number on ebay 60 pound ben's been on the phone to one of his mates well his only mate and he's told him he's a master tech at Audi to let the air out of the top of the strut, lower the car down, or let some air out, not all of it obviously, but let the car down, start it up, see if the compressor then kicks in because it then realises that there's not enough. If it does, then we know the compressor's fine. If it raises, we know that the um, solenoid, I think in the diverter valve thing, whatever it's called, I don't know, the controller valve, we know that's okay. So then it could be the level sensors, which is what we've ordered, £17 each from China. Johnny, the master tech, pissed himself. <laughs> I don't think this will fix it. I think the compressor's broke. Well, I actually heard the compressor run. Oh, did you? When we was at Awesome the other day, yeah, so. It's broke then, is it? Mm. There goes my theory. Yeah. This should now be a little bit that way. Should be. Yes. It's definitely down that. Better, isn't it? You can see it at the back there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can see that. Definitely. So now we're going to start it up and hopefully the compressor kicks in. Yeah. Nothing's happening. No, it's because he's still got the fault on. Right. I've tried to adjust, you know, press the up and down switch on the suspension, but he's just saying pressure accumulator charging. So we're looking for a fuse that's blown out or burnt out or. Yeah. welded itself together and then it could be a simple change and then it works maybe but he said it's very difficult to find out yeah they're fine then this is the compressor here but this to me looks like it's already had the repair kit because the repair kit comes with cable ties that doesn't look to me like it's 20 years old what do you reckon what are you gonna do with that now i don't know well, fast forward two hours, what have you bought? So we've, we've just decided to go for a whole new compressor. The reason being is it's quite a big job, for me anyway. And obviously we only get the best for our cars, don't we? Like oh, premium. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is like the Gucci of car parts. So um, how much is the Porsche genuine part? Well over 600 quid. How much was this one? Um, that was £180 plus fat. <laughs> Uh, so it's that bit. It right? looks the same. We, by a scouser, have just been called dodgy. I've never heard anything like it in my life. Ah, oh, scouse. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying it's dodgy having it on wooden wooden blocks? What, what should we have in there? I mean, rubber. Well, it's the fact that the back one split, you know. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. That's There's not ages one. left in that. There's some nails holding it together. What should we have on it? Rubber blocks. Have rubber. No. Well, it's wood. It is then. <laughs> I thought this was loose, but you're saying it's right. Yeah, it is right, yeah. This goes brrrr yep. with the little piston in it, and it moves around so it's to stop any vibrations right. inside the cabin, you see? You're learning. I watch wheeler dealers. The compressor's back in. It says that you need to lower it on the lift, but to lower it to the point where is like the normal ride height. So I'm assuming it's between like halfway between that and that, is it? And that's because I'm guessing there's no air. There's right. literally no air at all, so, no. So if we so, drop this on the ramp. It will, it will come to there, won't it? I assume so. I don't know. I've never done it before, but I, I assume it's not good because it's in capitals, quite clearly saying, don't lower it all the way, keep it supported. Then you need to get in, start it up, let it idle for a couple of minutes, and apparently it fills the, the system yeah. with the air. Go. More. Sound healthy, that rubbing onto it. Nothing, it's the still saying air suspension's faulty, but it's the starter motor in it. The starter motor's napping. Pressure accumulator charging, it said. So that was exactly the same as what it was doing before. You fixed something, right? Right. Because the front's now raised, so at least the front matches the back. Yeah, well, you fixed it, just not all of it. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see, because it's pitch black, we've got quite a lot of lift there, and the back's up probably just as much as it was before. So, we're just going to drive around the block and see if it sorts itself out. Otherwise, another failed mission. Sorry about the light issue because it's um, at the night time now because we've been working on it so long. Well, he has anyway. The compressor must be working. It must have been broke before because he's put it back up in the, in the high position. It's just it won't go back down now. So, just press that and supposedly low level selected. It's the first time he's seen that. That's the first time I've seen it, yeah. 
So it's saying low level, low level reached. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> stop on the roundabout. I'm getting out to have a Let's look. Let's have a look. Right, we need to do uh, one more. Let me get down there. We'll go and uh, let me get on this main road here. We'll have a look. If this has fixed it, I'll be happy because I can go home. That is lower. No, that ain't lower, that. That's just as high. I mean, at least it's evenly high now. It's just as high at the back as the front. Let's see, it's going up, one sec. Can't you go down a level? We don't oh. need to go any higher. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 it's going up at the back. That's gone right up at the back. <laughs> right, can you go lower, please? One sec. Can't drive around like that. Apparently there's another, there's another one. No way. That can't go up any higher. Yeah, it's going. <laughs> It's going a bit further. Yes. But you're happy. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for you. Yeah. Right. But we need to go down. Yeah, I know. But I'm trying to get it all the way to the top so the car sorts itself out going up. Just send it down. That's ridiculous now. Is that it? is ridiculous. <laughs> it's the slowest air suspension ever. Yeah. But it is going down. Low level selected. It's saying it's on its way down, but yeah. it's going. Yeah. It's going. It is going down. Is this suspension supposed to be like the slowest suspension ever? They are slow. Right. It's old. Yeah, it's... That's gone down a lot. It's level. -ish. That looks that looks alright. I think you'll take that. Yeah. You've fixed this car. Thanks for watching. This is the end of the video. You fixed it, mate. Thanks, mate. Subscribe to see the next part where it, where it breaks. Where I muddle my way through some car repairs. <laughs>